What's up guys, welcome back, my name is John, and today we're going to be reacting to the very last B-sides from uh, Red Velvet, or at least from their current uh, discography. We have In and Out, Remember Forever, and La Rouge. So yeah guys, I am super excited to get into, uh, I believe this is the album, this is the by finale of the Red Velvet Festival album, uh, which I'm super, super excited for. This is the album where they had a complete uh, change with uh, the Psycho song, which is generally a lot different from all of their other songs. Even though they typically do a lot of different stuff, Psycho was on a completely another uh, level. So I'm super excited to see if these three songs are also going to be that different or if they're still going to be, you know, jumping a bit back into, you know, doing uh, a couple of different songs uh, throughout one album. Either way, I'm really excited. So let's just get right into uh, the first one, Red Velvet's In and Out. All right, Red Velvet's in and out. We are watching this on uh, the Random K channel. Let's go. Okay. I'm loving the intro. Hmm. This must be one of the earlier videos from Random K because we don't have, don't have the visualizer and it isn't as smooth over here. That's interesting. Mm. Love the kind of dubstep sounds. Mm. And a bulldog. Oh, quite a different breakdown than what I was expecting. Mm. Oh, I like, really like that part. That's nice rap. Mm. Okay, nice ad libs. Mm. Oh, I like how she deepened her voice a bit, Joy. Oh, oh. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh. Okay, into the bridge. Mm. Oh. Turn it down again for it to build up slowly. I really like this part, how it's kind of fast-paced. Oh, is that it? Okay. Okay, Red Velvet's in and out. Well, it doesn't really follow in the same uh, track as Psycho. It still does have this kind of it, it has kind of a, a sinister sound to it while listening to it it kind of reminds me of um what what song is it the uh 
Oh, the uh, the one where they are eating the pizza guy, because it still has this it has this kind of sinister feel to it, and obviously in and out, I guess it's also kind of part of it. It being like you know a fast food uh, brand or something. I think I've never tried it, but I think In and Out is like a, a burger place, something like that. Super super dope song. Loved the instrumentals, how it's just it, it's kind of it's just that swaying vibing uh, sound to it, and the instrumentals were super super interesting. And I think Joy really killed it uh, throughout this uh, song. She had some really nice uh, vocals. But uh, let's move on to uh, the next one. Remember forever. All right, Red Velvet's uh, Remember Forever. Although I think this is like, um, I-, I was thinking this would be like a kind of psycho sound. I do think like from the title, it could be a ballad as well. So I don't know. Let's uh, go. Okay, it is a bit on the slow side. So. Okay. Is it a Christmas song? Has the jingle bells at least. Isn't that what makes songs a, a, a Christmas song? <laughs> mm. So it is a ballad. Christmas ballad. Mm. With the sound of this, I feel like it should have like a music video almost. Mm. I really like Yeti's voice for, for these raps. Mm. The vocals are really nice, like just soothing. Mm. Oh, it's the end of a fun festival, so it is like the finale. It feels like the end, this song. Mm. Okay. It's almost like oh. Mm. oh, I like that little ending on that note. Love how pure Joy's uh, voice was. Into the power of when. Oh! Oh! Mmm! Oh, okay. Okay, Red Velvet's Remember Forever. I'm I'm surprised that this is not the last song of the album because it feels like a a climax of this whole uh, festival trilogy, I guess you could call it, of the uh, the albums. We had day one, day two, and this is the finale, and they keep singing on, you know, keep singing about, okay, well, even though the festival is ending, like we the summer festival is over, we we still gotta have those feelings with us, kind of. You don't only have to be happy at a festival, and they're kind of saying, "I hope, even though now that the, even though the festival is over, we can still have this, you know, happiness, have this feeling that feel the same way as we do while there is a festival, something like that." Really, really like that whole thing, and that it really fits perfectly with the whole festival trilogy theme or concepts but uh, yeah let's move on to uh, the very last uh, b-side la rouge all right red velvet uh, la rouge the very last b-side uh, from all of the current discography because we've ob- obviously already uh, listened to the queendom discography let's go mm. 
<clears throat> oh. Okay, love the intro. Mm. It's not. Oh. Very jazzy. Love how it's kind of building up in the background. Mm. Oh. Sounds very like seductive. Kind of, kind of reminds me of um, Michael Jackson's "Bad," like the way they're pulling out their singing. But not this part at all, but just the verses. Sogi. She has some really cool vocals. Oh, the drums coming in. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, okay. Oh, there's so much happening. Mm. Oh. Love the love how it kind of breaks down right here. It's really nice. Mm. And of course the bass. Now, okay, Red Velvet's La Rouge. This song had a completely different vibe to it than what I was expecting, especially after we just heard uh, the finale, the ballad finale. This one feels more of either an encore or a reopening of uh, the festival. This was super, super cool and just... The amount of, of changing up stuff throughout this song was incredible because like the first two verses we had a, a pretty like like a song that was pretty much the same throughout the two first verses and chorus uh, or well the two choruses were the same and the two verses were the same but after that they did a lot of changing stuff up and it kind of just evolved throughout the song which was super super dope absolutely loved this song the whole bass vibe to it and all the really nice vocals absolutely amazing song but you guys that was red velvet's in and out remember forever and la rouge the very last uh, b-sides for us to react to at least until uh, the next album from red velvet this was a super nice journey especially through uh, the last uh, three albums we had right here at the end for this festival through the jiu there was there just was this cool uh, coherency that kind of felt like we are actually like experiencing a full year especially you know with with the summer tracks and also the uh, winter tracks we had here with um with uh, remember forever super super dope idea in general absolutely loved uh, this album i have i've absolutely enjoyed um just all of red velvet's uh, piece sites and i'm just super super excited uh, for more to come in future albums but yeah anyways guys please let me know what you guys thought about red velvet's in and out remember forever and la rouge down in the comments below let me know which song from this album or which song from this whole uh, festival trilogy is your favorite down in the comments as well and i guess i'll see you guys next time